their flesh and every single strand of hair vanished from Earth tens of thousands of years ago. So why do scientists assert, assert they can meticulously study even their entire brains? How is it that colossal creatures, seemingly only fossilized bones, appear as intact as if they had just died a few hours ago? The answer lies beneath the freezing permafrost of Siberia and Alaska, which acts as the most perfect biological archive. This almost instantaneous freezing environment has prevented all decomposition, preserving invaluable scientific treasures from the Ice Age. Let us explore the most fascinating frozen specimens ever found. Bizarre creatures that are changing the way we perceive the evolutionary history of the planet. Among individual discoveries, the Tymir wolf head is the most unique specimen, not only for its cultural significance, but also for its impressive size compared to its counterparts. This astonishing find is a severed and frozen adult wolf head discovered in Yakutia, Russia. The head alone measures up to 40 centimeters long, significantly larger than the head of a modern adult gray wolf, indicating a giant ice age wolf individual. The preservation of the Tymir wolf head is phenomenal. It is completely intact with fur, skin, fangs, and even brain tissue inside the skull. What makes this discovery unique is the precise severance right behind the neck, which scientists believe could not have been performed by another animal. The act of decapitating the wolf with high precision immediately after its death has raised strong questions about a prehistoric human hunting or sacrificial ritual. This specimen is not just an extinct wolf individual, it is a cultural artifact. Scientists conducted DNA analysis and identified it as an extinct ancient wolf lineage dating back approximately 40,000 years. This analysis suggests the Tymir wolf head may be one of the wolf species most closely related to the common ancestor of both domestic dogs and modern wolves. Compared to the Tumat puppy, this specimen provides evidence of active and ritualistic human interaction rather than just proof of coexistence. This further increases the mystery surrounding the relationship between humans and the canid species at that crucial evolutionary moment. Was it a sacred trophy or an item used in hunting magic? The perfect preservation of this head compels us to re-evaluate the complexity of Ice Age human beliefs and behaviors. Among all the extraordinary discoveries freed from the ice, Luba is considered the most iconic specimen, the greatest testament to the preservation capabilities of permafrost. Luba is the world's most perfectly preserved baby woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, setting the highest standard for biological preservation in permafrost. This incredible specimen of female mammoth calf uh, was found in 2007 by a reindeer herder on the Urube Riverbank on the Yamal Peninsula, Russia. Liuba was determined to be approximately 42,000 years old and only about one month old at the time of death. Liuba's preservation level is phenomenal. She is preserved almost completely intact with a full trunk, eyes, ears, fur, and all internal organs. Her skin is intact and the skin folds are still visible, suggesting Liuba was a healthy individual right before she died. This absolute preservation occurred because Liuba died by getting trapped deep in clay mud and was immediately and completely encased by permafrost, which prevented decomposition by bacteria and scavengers. Research by Argenbroad and colleagues in 2018 confirmed Liuba died from suffocation. What is even more astonishing, analysis of the specimen's stomach and intestines showed that her stomach was still full of mother's milk right before death. This reinforces the assumption that Liuba was a very healthy young mammoth and that death occurred suddenly. The astonishment at the intact preserved mammoth specimen goes even further. You know, in other mammoth finds in Siberia, such as the Berezovka specimen found in 1901, Explorers and scientists once tasted the meat preserved in the ice. Although the mammoth meat had chemically altered and was not palatable, this act highlighted the phenomenal ability of permafrost to preserve soft tissue over tens of millennia. In terms of genetics, Luba holds immense scientific significance. Her DNA is considered one of the most intact and least fragmented specimens ever recovered from the Ice Age. 
The superior integrity of this genetic material has turned Luba into an indispensable foundation for high accuracy mammoth genome sequencing projects. This is particularly crucial because it provides the baseline data for scientists such as George Church's team at Harvard University to study and reconstruct the necessary gene sequences for de-extinction efforts. This ambitious scientific concept includes using gene editing technology to introduce mammoth adaptive traits into modern Asian elephants, aiming to bring cold survivable species back to the tundra. Luba is currently exhibited at the Shemenovsky Museum in Salekhard, Russia, becoming a global scientific heritage. While Luba demonstrates the mammoth's preservation capability, the finding of frozen baby cave lions is an extremely rare event, highlighting the biological distinctiveness of the large cat species that once dominated Eurasia as an apex predator. The double discovery of Boris and Sparta shook the paleontology community. These two lion cubs were found separately in Yakutia, Russia, with a shocking age dating back 28,000 to 43,000 years. Their preservation is a feat. Boris and Sparta were found with dense undercoat fur, whiskers, and all soft tissues intact, equivalent to finding a modern lion cub frozen. The greatest astonishment comes from the detailed morphological and coat analysis. Scientists were able to visualize their outer coat and inner downy fur layer. Coat analysis published in a 2021 study by Plotnikov and colleagues confirmed they had thick pale yellow fur, a clear adaptation to the frigid environment. However, the revolutionary surprise was the complete absence of a mane on the male cub. For modern African lions, the mane is an indispensable symbol of the adult male, serving for intimidation and attracting mates. But the cave lion, the largest cat of the Ice Age, lacked this feature. This maneless trait is not just a morphological detail, but also a key to deciphering their social behavior. It strongly reinforces the hypothesis that cave lions had less gregarious social organization or were even solitary on the cold steppes. This stands in sharp contrast to African lions that hunt in large prides. The absence of a mane is a logical adaptation to minimize heat loss and conserve energy in the harsh tundra environment, where energy must be prioritized for body warmth and scarce hunting. The absolute preservation allows for detailed comparative skull morphology studies, confirming that the cave lion is a separate species from African and American lions, with an evolutionary split that occurred a very long time ago. This is irrefutable evidence of an apex predator species whose unique adaptations we are now truly beginning to understand. The Lena horse foal is a fascinating discovery, illustrating an incredibly sophisticated physiological adaptation to the cold in this fast running animal. This horse calf specimen known as Spartak or Yuka was preserved with all skin, fur, hooves and internal organs intact, dating back approximately 42,000 years ago. This excellent preservation provides a unique opportunity to explore how Ice Age creatures combated the chilling cold. What makes this specimen crucial is the evidence of its intrinsic heat retention strategy. A significant biological study by Simeonovsky and colleagues in 2020 confirmed an astonishing fact the presence of high-density brown adipose tissue, abbreviated as BAT, in the body. BAT is not ordinary fat as we know it. It is a specialized type of fat that generates heat without shivering. While most animals rely on muscle contraction for heat, BAT does this by directly burning energy in the mitochondria, creating a continuous intrinsic biological furnace. This mechanism is extremely effective for combating sudden frigid temperatures, especially for newborns that have a high rate of heat loss and a large surface area to volume ratio. This finding is direct evidence of temperature adaptation at the cellular level. It shows that evolution not only changed size or fur thickness, but also altered body biochemistry to optimize survival. To visualize, this mechanism is similar to a tiny biological reactor integrated under the skin, helping the leaner horse survive in the harsh conditions where tundra steppe temperatures could drop far below freezing. Furthermore, the analysis of plant matter in the specimen's gut provides valuable data on the flora and the tundra steppe landscape that once existed during the Ice Age. The Lena horse was not only a large animal, but also a vital link in the ecosystem. Its preservation helped scientists reconstruct the picture of a cold world that was not devoid of resources, 
where animals had to evolve marvelous physiological mechanisms to survive. While colossal specimens like mammoths attract attention, the discovery of the Tumat puppy holds particular importance because it lies right at a historical intersection for humanity. The domestication of dogs. Two puppy individuals were found in Siberia and the best preserved one, the Tumat puppy, is dated to approximately 12,450 years old. This specimen has an astonishing level of preservation. It is completely frozen in permafrost intact with its brain, heart, and stomach. This phenomenal preservation has provided scientists with an unprecedented biological and genetic material treasure trove. Imagine a tiny creature buried for over 12,000 years can tell us about its internal organ function. The scientific significance of the Tumat puppy is immense. Scientists conducted extensive DNA analysis to solve a millennia long mystery. Whether the Tumat puppy was an ice age wolf individual belonging to an extinct lineage or one of the earliest domesticated dogs by humans. It represents the transition from a wild predator species to a loyal companion. This genetic research published in the journal Current Biology in 2017 used the Tumat puppy's DNA to compare with hundreds of modern wolf and dog specimens getting closer to accurately pinpointing the time and location of the origin of the dog-human bond. This discovery provides direct evidence of the first symbiotic relationship between the canid group and humans in the cold, harsh environment of the Ice Age. This cooperation was a pivotal moment in, in mammalian history, as dogs were not merely pets, but also became hunting tools, helping humans hunt large prey like mammoths and bison. The Tumat puppy is a silent witness to the beginning of an interspecies friendship that changed the history of Earth. While all attention often focuses on the woolly giants like mammoths, the discovery of collared lemmings holds immense ecological significance regarding the survival of small species in the Ice Age. In 2021, scientists announced an incredible finding. A mass of frozen collared lemming individuals had been found in Siberia. These tiny specimens date back approximately 41,000 years and are preserved with intact fur and soft tissues. This discovery is surprising because lemmings are extremely fragile creatures. They do not have thick blubber for insulation like mammoths or a colossal size for defense. Their survival and preservation in harsh, icy conditions affirm the critical role of this rodent in the food chain. Lemmings are the biological foundation of the entire tundra ecosystem, equivalent to the role of producers in other ecosystems. They are the primary prey, the indispensable life source of for many large and small predators, from dominators like the cave lion to agile species like the Arctic fox and other birds of prey. Imagine, without lemmings, the entire Arctic ecological pyramid would collapse. The finding of these intact lemming specimens is a golden opportunity for paleoecology, also known as ancient ecology, studies. Scientists can not only analyze the genetic diversity of the lemming population, but also examine traces of ice age diseases and parasites preserved intact. Lemming population fluctuations directly affected the survival of large predators. These samples provide crucial data on the predator-prey relationship in the late ice age. Despite their small size, the frozen existence of lemmings has unveiled a more complete and complex picture of the enduring and harsh life on the tundra steppe. While the frozen mammoth specimens are astonishing, another discovery at the microscopic level carries a global warning. This is not an intact creature, but living evidence of the persistent existence of biological entities in the permafrost environment. The shocking truth is that researchers have successfully resurrected giant virus strains trapped in Siberian ice for 30,000 years. This discovery is unprecedented in its uniqueness. These virus strains are named Pythovirus cybericum and Molivirus cybericum. They are called giant viruses because their physical size is much larger than most common viruses. To visualize, they are much larger than many standard viruses, even larger than some types of bacteria, and can be easily seen under an optical microscope, which is rare in the microbial world. The fact that they are still capable of infection after tens of millennia is an incredible achievement in the study of life's durability. 
The significance of this finding is immense. It not only demonstrates the extraordinary ability of permafrost to preserve the genetic material of animals, but also pathogens. Specifically, research by Clavery and colleagues published respectively in 2014 and 2015 in scientific journals provided concrete evidence for this revival. Scientists took permafrost core samples dating back about 30,000 years from the Kolyma River Bank, Siberia, and successfully reactivated the viruses so that they began to multiply and infect amoeba cells. These ice encased frozen creatures are phenomenal specimens that are completely changing paleontology and genetics. They are living evidence of the evolutionary intelligence of life on Earth, demonstrating unique biological strategies such as intrinsic thermogenesis mechanisms and cold resistance at the cellular level. As the ice continues to melt, the story of the Ice Age is being retold in more detail and vividness than ever before challenging old understandings and opening the door for groundbreaking scientific discoveries. Do not miss other fascinating stories from the past. Subscribe now to join us in exploring the lost world. Comment below and let us know, which prehistoric animal do you most want to see resurrected?